hello guys welcome back to my channel this is another video on topical questions of igcse uh, today we are going through the past paper questions from scatter diagram uh, you will learn in this how to read the scatter diagram and how to draw the best fit line or line of best fit and uh, about the types of the graphs right the type of the correlation so let's start with first question here uh, mrs salman gives her class two mathematics test the scatter graph shows information about the marks each student scored so you can see we have here test one along x-axis and test two along y-axis now this kind of graph is called scatter diagram uh, where you have the points like scattered all around right so now let's see here uh, write down the highest marks scored on the test one so we will go uh, along x-axis because we have test one here highest score so you see this is 10 marks 20 30 40 and this is 60 and then this is 70 so uh, this will be 62 64 66 68 and 70 right uh, so now the highest score here it is if you see this is the one so this one is here so you see uh, i'm looking for the last point here this one this cross if you go around down here so we come out over here so this point this point is 66 so highest score is 60 six right now write down the type of correlation shown in the diagram so this uh, is the correlation if you see if you are going along uh, right hand side our graph is going upward all the points are going upwards right so that means it's increasing so as the score is increasing so this graph is also increasing so this is a positive correlation so positive right now draw a line of best fit on scatter diagram now the best fit line is a line uh, you need to draw a line it should not it's not much that it should pass through the uh, origin so you should have a line that maximum number of points should come near to the line it is not must to have the points on the line but it is it, the most many points should be near to the best fit line you see the points are closer so you may have bit uh, drawn it upward also so you see the maximum number of points are nearby the line so this is the best fit line so this one two three so we have done up to three marks uh, uh, score so now next we have here hamish scored a mark of 40 on test 1 he was absent for test 2 use your best line of best fit to find an estimate for his mark on test 2 so we will start from here on test 1 he scored 40 marks 40 line is here so if you go here this is the point for his 40 marks on test 1 and then you go along this way to look for the marks of uh, this test 2 so this is 42 44 46 so we can say for m little more than that so it may be 47 right you see these questions are not hard but it they are lengthy it may take time but you can easily score good marks in this so let's move to next question Question number two, ballet records the heights, height in centimeters and the mass in kilograms of some goats, right? So we have height in centimeter and we have mass in kilograms. Uh, some of our results are shown in the scatter diagram. So here are some results, mass here in kg and height in centimeters. The table shows four more results. We have more results here. Plot these points on the scatter diagram. 
so height 23 height 23 you see this is 20 25 so there is 10 squares 10 small square are equal to 5 cm so one small square will be 5 over 10 so that means 0.5 so that means this is 21 and two squares will uh, represent as one so this is 21 22 23 24 right so 23 is here 21 22 23 this is 23 another side we have 31.5 so this line 31.2 sorry 31.1 31.2 so this is the point here okay so this is done next 30 and 33.5 30 is here 30 i'll put ruler then 33.5 so this is 33 33.1 2 3 4 and 33.5 is this one okay so then 36 and 34.6 uh, 36 36 is here 30 Five, thirty-six, ah, <clears throat> uh, thirty-six, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, yeah, thirty-nine. So this is going to be so thirty-four point five is here, and this is thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-four point. Thirty-four point five and thirty-four point six is here. This is the point, right? Now thirty-eight and thirty-four point eight. Thirty-eight is here, and thirty-four point eight. Thirty-four point eight. One, two, three, four. Thirty-four point eight is here. okay so that's done now what is the type of correlation in this scatter diagram again if you see if we are going towards right hand side our points are going upward so this is also a positive correlation right now draw a line of best fit on the diagram again best fit line is like you will take one line i mean the line that maximum number of points are nearby like this okay so next we have here uh, use the line of best fit to estimate the height of a goat with mass of 32.5 kg 32.5 32 is here 32.5 is here so this one is here so going along this line down here so what is this this is 25 this is 26.5 26.5 right so we can write down here 26.5 now work out the percentage of 12 goats that have height between 26 and 35 so again we will go back to the graph so we are looking for the height between 26 cm and 35 26 is here and 35 is here so along in this area i mean in this part of the graph you see how many points do we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we have five points here so five out of 12 and we are looking for the percentage so times 100 right so that means we are going to calculate this one uh 2 times 6 125 over 3 so this is approximately 46 41.66 so we can write down 41.7 to three significant figures right now we have here another question before we start this question i would request you guys to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and i will wait for your comments uh, for the feedback and for your appreciation
सो लेट स्टार्ट नंबर थ्री टेन स्टूडेंट्स ईट सीरियल्स विद मिल्क फॉर ब्रेकफास्ट द अमाउंट आर शोन इन द टेबल हेयर वी हैव द सीरियल्स एंड मिल्क राइट मिल्क इज दिस साइड सीरियल दिस साइड कंप्लीट दिस कैटर डायग्राम द फर्स्ट सिक्स पॉइंट्स हैज बिन प्लॉटेड फॉर यू सो दिस शेडेड वन इज प्लॉटेड सो वी हैव टू प्लॉट दिस वन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी एट ग्राम्स इज हेयर सो Uh, you see, twenty to thirty. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. There are five. So that means one small square represents two. So this is twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, and twenty-eight. Twenty-eight and one fifty. So one fifty is here. This one, right? So this is done. Then forty and two thirty. Forty and two thirty. Two ten. Two twenty, two thirty. It's here. Then fifty-five and three forty. Fifty-five is fifty-one, uh, fifty-two, fifty-four, and fifty-five will be in the middle somewhere. Three forty. Three forty is here. Okay. Now it's forty-six and two twenty. Two twenty. Forty-six, forty, two, forty-four, forty-six, one, two, three, two, twenty, two, twenty is two hundred ten, twenty, thirty. Yeah, so forty-six. I should use ruler for this one. Two hundred and twenty. This is two hundred. Ten and twenty here, right? So this one is done. Uh, yeah, a part is done. So let's see what is next here. For these stu uh, students, describe the relationship between the amount of cereals and amount of milk. So for that, uh, again we will go back to the. to the graph so as you can see the amount of cereal is increasing the amount of milk is also increasing so we that we will write down here as the amount of cereals cereal increases amount of milk increases so they are directly proportional to each other on the grid draw line of best best fit i hope you guys understood now how to draw the best fit line here so we can place our ruler here and see the points nearby to the line so you can adjust your ruler like this okay so this is done another student has 280 ml of milk with her cereal use your line of best fit to estimate the amount of cereal student has 200 ml of milk again going back 200 ml is here so best fit line is here going down so this is the uh 38 Thirty, uh, yeah, it's approximately thirty-eight grams. I think, yeah, sorry, sorry. This is two hundred and eighty ml. I was looking at two hundred. Two hundred and eighty, two fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Two hundred and eighty going along this way, then coming down here. So this is approximately fifty, two fifty, two four, fifty four, fifty six, fifty six grams, right? Now explain why this scatter diagram should not be used to estimate the amount of milk for the student who have more than Seventy grams of cereal. So seventy gram of the cereal. 
so we have here you see the last graph here is the, for the 70 gram so if we are taking more than this so this is coming out of the gain we've given information so it may you cannot just say like yes it will come here so because this is out of the given data so you can say this is outside the given data because this is outside the given data right now next number four write down the type of correlation you would expect from the following the average speed of the train and time taken uh, for the journey now you need to imagine like now, now see like let's say uh, we have the speed here uh, let's say time here and speed here so as the time uh, speed is increasing let me take speed here this side let me just plot it uh, use this one here so if we have speed here if we are increasing the speed so that means time is time increasing so time taken time will increase but time taken so as the speed is more uh, speed is getting higher the time taken will be less so it is going to be negative right negative correlation now the distance traveled by a car and amount of fuel used so this is very obvious uh, if you will cover more distance so more fuel will be needed so this is uh, going to be a positive correlation right now the scatter diagram shows the number of people and the number of phones in each of eight buildings we have this one here the graph is here number of phones and number of people uh, one of the building contained 42 people write down the number of phones in this building so one of the building contains 42 people so 42 is here 41 42 43 44 and 45 but this is 50 here so that means this one square represents as 2 so 42 is here so if you go up here so this one going this side is 32 so answer is 32 uh, what is the type of correlation shown in the scatter diagram so as it is increasing again so that means there this is also a positive correlation so actually uh, I don't know unknowingly all the correlations came out to be uh, positive whatever question I took so let me just explain it to you a bit here so if we have points like this you have already seen the positive one so negative correlation will be like this so if you are coming like this so your points are coming down so your line is going this way so this kind of correlation is called negative correlation right and if there is like points scattered all around like this then we usually say there is no correlation okay so i will try to cover some more questions on this topic uh, taking uh, by different uh, these correlations so i hope you guys understood everything in this so if there is anything let me know in the comment section i will wait for your comments and please like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much guys for your support god bless you